I honestly don't know how these companies aren't getting put out of business by class action lawsuits for making men grow tits and women start looking at other women. But uh, that's a story for another video. And if Soylent Green did come to exist, it would be far more nutritious than any of these nonsense drinks. And for anyone unfamiliar with Soylent Green, by the year 2022, the cumulative effects of overpopulation, pollution, and some apparent climate catastrophe have caused severe worldwide shortages of food, water, and housing. There are 40 million people in New York City alone, where only the city's elite can afford spacious apartments, clean water, and natural food, and even then at horrendously high prices. I mean, to be fair with what's going on, that doesn't sound too far off what could be happening, but that is not what triggered me to make this video. I saw a bottle of this nonsense in my family's refrigerator, and you know that goes to show you that people really do listen to authority and marketing. Insure, insure, like this is insuring your nutrition. Like go, go take a fucking hike. Let's see if I can insure you off a cliff. So just looking at the ingredient list of this, if something's not clicking in your head, something's not working up there. Ingredients start with water and you know these companies aren't using reverse osmosis, charcoal filtered, well spring mineral water it's crap it's full of fluoride chlorine antibiotic residues corn maltodextrin i mean usually they just put maltodextrin but it is extracted from corn it's starch it carries over all of those negative pollutants that were in the corn but if it was clean it would just be empty calories sugar <laughs> third highest ingredient is sugar i, I mean look, look there's some clever marketing drinks that are a little better than this but this is just ridiculous Milk protein concentrate, okay. So there actually is animal protein in here. Blend of vegetable oils, canola, corn, very high omega-6. Linoleic acid is direct poison. Soy protein isolate, estrogenic, anti-nutrients, horrible for you, non-fat milk. And then they have a whole laundry list of like 50 different vitamin and mineral additives to make this a complete food, which are all laboratory powders. And what drives me crazy is a grass-fed whey protein, like the one on Frankie's Free Range Foods, is far more nutritious than this. It has so many B vitamins, so many minerals, so much protein. It's so good for you, and it's literally one thing, whey protein. Now, I don't know why no one's made a big deal about Soyland, you know, especially considering the name of that movie. And what's always funny to me is on these websites with these meal replacements or these plant-based protein powders, it's so difficult to find the actual ingredient list. All they're talking about is how natural, how good it is for you, showing pictures of vegetables, filtered water, same problems that we mentioned with the water they're using for all of these other drinks, soy protein isolate, heavily processed and heated soy, it's estrogenic, it's high in omega-6, it's high in agrochemicals, anti-nutrients. Maltodextrin is that starch made from corn, predominantly pollutant concerns. You know, what types of solvents are they using to extract this? High oleic sunflower oil. It is a vegetable seed oil. It is high in omega-6. It is heavily processed. It's not as horrendous because it is high oleic. Allulose is an artificial sweetener. We did a whole video on those. Canola oil, another high omega-6 oil. This time it's not oleic, but you know, vegetable seed oils are the worst things you should be consuming, let alone in large amounts, frequently as a food additive. Natural flavors, an attempt uh, to make this taste like some sort of food by adding chemicals to it. And then you have the vitamin and mineral premix, which are the laboratory chemical extracts. We see this in all of these drinks. And between the ingredient list and these laboratory extracts, you're looking at probably over a hundred different sources to combine into one food, which is, it's insane. And those other ingredients on there that I didn't mention that aren't the chemical extracts are just types of food additives and emulsifiers that are extracted from corn, soy, just more chemicals, more estrogen, more damaging to the body. It's almost like they tried to create a food that took all of the horrible aspects of a standard American diet and then just added stuff to it to make it taste okay. All of the stuff is horrendous for you. Damaging your digestive organs, lowering testosterone substantially in men, 
not giving you bioavailable forms of omega fatty acids, B vitamins, D3 or K2 minerals. And, and when you have other drinks like Huel, I don't even know how to say that bullshit, which my viewers have been complaining they've been getting advertisements for, it's not really much better. You know, they use pea protein, which has similar downsides to soy protein, ground flaxseed, which is probably the worst health food there is in the sense that people think it's healthy, yet it's so damaging to the body. Brown rice protein, any, any of these protein extracts, they pretty much check all the same boxes. They're estrogenic, they're highly polluted, they're highly processed, they're high in anti-nutrients, they damage the gut lining. Tapioca flour, it's not actually horrible to eat once in a while if it's organic, if it's made properly, but when you're consuming it on a consistent basis, there is a cyanide concern and people have had liver damage from this without a doubt because of how much it's been used in some of these drinks. Sunflower oil powder, I mean, if that high oleic sunflower oil wasn't bad enough, this stuff would probably kill a rat if it ate it for a couple days straight. Organic coconut sugar might actually be the only decent thing on this list. Natural flavors, same problems. Maltodextrin, again, similar laundry list of horrible crap ingredients, just cheap, Stuff from conventional farming that they can process, formulate together, and make it taste reasonable, and then convince you it's good for you. We know they're all in on it. Someone drinks this crap, they're not gonna lose weight, they're not gonna feel healthy, they're not gonna get any better. They're gonna keep going to their doctor, looking for other solutions. So why do you think when someone like me comes out and talks about this stuff, they don't want people to know? Because then they wouldn't be making any money. So thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please Leave a comment down below, drop a like on the video, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and check that notification bell so that they don't notify you of my videos. You can go to franktestafano.com. Uh, we have whey protein available on the foods website, and you can support me through all of my other businesses. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow's video.